Destiny 2 is host to an enormous amount of weapons. Going into raids and other content, you see a massive variety of weapons from machine guns to rockets, shotguns to linears, and everything else. This huge collection of weapons is great for variety, but at times it can become really difficult to keep track of. The aim of this video is to fix that. Up until now, the community's main way of testing weapon damage rotations has historically been to just test them out and compare them. Recently though, I've been working on a project to change this. From this work came a new project called ResFarm. ResFarm is a one-of-a-kind website that uses data obtained through in-game testing to simulate every possible weapon roll in Destiny 2, as well as multi-weapon damage rotations containing them. I'm putting the link in the description, but I'm quickly going to go over the site in case you have any questions. When you first load up the website, you'll see this. ResFarm at its core is just a big table that can sort simulation data that's been processed by an external server, and sort it into an easily readable form. The table of damage rotations below is the main thing you'll be interacting with. This table contains the list of simulations that have been run and ranked according to the sorting rule set up top. Each entry in the table is a unique damage rotation, and will present its rank in the currently sorted list, as well as its damage per second, total damage, and total time. By default, this table is sorted by average DPS, and although average DPS can be a good indicator of what rotations might be effective, it's far from the best way to find out what you should use for each encounter. On the top bar of the page, you'll see some boxes. The blue box on the top is the sorting mode selector, and currently ResFarm can sort by three modes. Average DPS mode is the default and sorts by average DPS with highest on top, Total damage mode will sort by maximum total damage that a rotation can output, again with the highest on top. In the event that you're looking to find the best damage rotations for specific damage phases or encounters, you can use the last option, which allows you to sort the list by total damage over some specific time. When you select this, the gray boxes on the bottom will activate and turn green. In the left box, you can specify a custom damage phase time, and the table will calculate the total damage over that time for each rotation, and then sort them. The right box is a list of boss encounter presets. Dropping it down lets you select a boss from in the game, and upon selecting it, it'll automatically input the total time for that boss's damage phase. In this example, we're going to sort for Templar's damage phase. Let's just say that we have a fairly new team, so we'd like to keep damage rotations simple and short. In this case, we can use the advanced search options right below the top banner. The checkboxes will allow you to further restrict the table, to show only what you want. In this case, we want to first uncheck the Show All Options box to enable the advanced options, and then check the boxes we want. In this case, we want to select Luna Faction Boots, Have Teammates, Close to Boss, and Have Wolfpack Rounds. This will eliminate any options that include requirements related to being surrounded, which Templar doesn't do well with, or use complex or multi-weapon rotations. As we can see, this has restricted our results down to only those that don't use surrounded and don't use multiple weapons. In the end, surprisingly, it boils down to Storm Chaser, with Rapid Hit and Firing Line on top. As you can see, all the aggregate DPS and total damage numbers show up to the right of each option, and they're all ranked. Additionally, if you want to see some more in-depth information, or verify that the numbers being used to simulate the rotations are correct, you can click on one of the rotations and it'll open up a page containing the damage versus time graph, as well as a chain of events that the simulator uses to output its data. In these chains, you can find the raw data for each individual part of the rotations, which includes event time and total damage. Going back to the last page, let's say that I'm a really big Thunderlord fan, and I really wanted to see how well it would do on Templar. If I filter by Thunderlord, the site will show you only Thunderlord rotations and will keep their ranking consistent with the currently selected time and filter options. As we can see, out of all damage rotations that are only a single weapon with our Wolfpack rounds, teammates, and box proximity options enabled, Thunderlord comes out to the number 259 at 1.2 million damage or so, bringing it to only about 68% of the total damage of the top option. Ultimately, this project is built to be the ultimate information tool. Not only is it able to simulate damage options taken from the API, but the damage and stat numbers used in the simulations are extremely easy to change on our end, and will update retroactively for all rotations in the database whenever a game update releases. As of right now, only I'm able to run simulations on ResFarm, but one of the first things that will come after launch will be a system allowing users to design and run their own simulations using a block-style programmer like Scratch and publishing them to the site so they show up for everyone else to see. As of right now though, I really just want feedback on the current systems that are in place. I'm not really looking for new damage rotations because those will come in time and mostly be solved by the user-driven simulation programmer, but I'm looking for the following three pieces of feedback if anybody would be willing to provide them. First of all, how does the UI look? Are the colors a bit too much? Animations too distracting? Anything being slow, laggy, or generally buggy? How well do the sorting and filtering options work? Does the current system of checkboxes work fine for now, or is that something that I should get to work on redesigning ASAP? Do you see any rotations or numbers that just don't add up in the end? And finally, Google Ads. Since the bill for the site is paid for by myself out of pocket, I've put some Google Ads on the site to help offset the cost. Please let me know if these ads are too distracting or annoying, or if there's anywhere in particular on the page that you feel like ads would fit and be non-intrusive. Again, I'll be focusing additional damage rotations for the first update, which I'm hoping will be solved by the community programmer. But for now, though, there's a whole bunch of them in there, just shy of 2,000, so I hope that's enough for now. There's also some important information on our testing methodology for the numbers we used in the first pinned comment. And if you've got any questions or just want to chat, feel free to hop in my Discord in the description.